I'm excited today, no? Maaing buta sa tanan, and it's a great Sunday, and uh, of course, I would like everyone to please stand. Let's raise our hands before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's pray. Father God, you are awesome, Lord, and we want to um, exalt your holy name, O oh God, as we worship you, as we praise your holy name, Lord, today. We're excited, Lord, for your word and for today, O oh God. We honor your name. We love you in Jesus' name. Come on, let's worship the Lord in spirit and in truth.
Lord, we declare our love to you today, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness.
Good morning. Today is April 19. Welcome again to our online Sunday service. Okay, I am Pastor Joel. And mag-pray muna tayo. Oh God, the Lord of the heavens, our Heavenly Father, the God who is sovereign and in control. Oh God, we continue, Lord, to thank you because you are in control in this amidst this uh, no Lord pandemic. You are in control, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the recoveries. Father, we continue to pray that the infection will be stopped, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for every family. Na merong, ano Lord, merong infected. We pray, God, for healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that even in this time of crisis, you are there, you are speaking to us, especially to your people. We pray, God, for our, uh, our president and all the officials of the land. And we pray, God, for every Christian today that our light will continue to shine for Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Kayo dyan sa mga bahay, palapakan natin si Lord. Glory to God. Uh, in life, sa buhay natin, merang marami tayong ginagawa. Busy. Diba? Busy tayo sa ating pag-aaral. Busy sa trabaho. Busy pagbayad ng ating mga utang. Sino sa inyo maraming busy sa pagbayad? Sa ating mga social life. Okay, sa ating negosyo at sa iba naman meron silang mga travel goals. Big sabihin, busy tayong lahat. In this business, lalo na sa mga anak ni Lord, paano tayo magiging victorious Christian? O, oh, victorious Christian. At bakit importante na magiging victorious Christian tayo? So the word for today, the title is Year of Christ Likeness. A victorious Christian life. No, a victorious Christian life. Last Sunday, we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. The resurrection of Jesus. No, his victory over death. No, his victory over death made it possible for us na magkaroon ng victorious Christian life. Hindi lang po tayo binigyan or nagiging victorious over the penalty of sin. But also, He gave us the power over sin na magkaroon ng victorious Christian life. Is that amen? So, Jesus did not just, uh, the, uh, Jesus died not just to save us from the penalty of sin, from going to hell, but also to give us a victorious Christian life. Is that amen? Sa ating training online, we learned that a carnal Christian Will not, will not be victorious over sin. Ang isang carnal, hindi po magiging victorious over sin. But ito po, a carnal Christian will not remain carnal. Okay? Ang isang carnal na Christian will never, will, will not remain carnal. He will grow in the grace and knowledge of God. He will start to experience victory. From carnal to becoming more and more spiritual. Kasi, pag obedient tayo sa ating Holy Spirit, the moment we receive Jesus, no, we have the Holy Spirit inside us. Kung obedient tayo, then we will have or we will experience a victorious Christian life. Is that amen? No? So, a victorious Christian life is only possible when we surrender to Christ Jesus when we surrender to the Holy Spirit. Amen ba? No? Impossible. No? Impossible siya kung ayaw natin mag sa Holy Spirit. But ang totoong Christian, nandyan ang Holy Spirit, he will learn to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Sino sa inyo you want to have a victorious Christian life? Can you raise your hand dyan sa mga bahay-bahay ninyo? No, raise your hand because it's a declaration that you are willing to obey the Holy Spirit because you are a true Christian. Is that amen? Maraming Christian, they remain carnal for a long time. Carnal, meaning sila pa rin ang driver ng kanilang mga buhay. Na-remember mo, 
Nung hindi ka pa marunong mag-drive at nag-drive ka, anong nangyari? Di ba? Maraming gasgas ang sasakyan. Ang yung iba na bunggo, no? Nasira ang sasakyan. Ang iba naman nahulog sa kanal. Di ba? Dahil hindi ka marunong. Ganyan ang illustration ng isang Christian na siya pa rin ang nagta-drive sa kanyang buhay. No? Carnal pa rin. Carnal yung driver. Kaya palaging nadadapa. Palaging nagkakamali. Nakakasakit ng ibang tao no kung nakakokos ng mga problema kasi carnal Christian siya. How many times did you create a problem dahil carnal ka pa? But ang carnal Christian will not remain carnal. Okay, he will obey the Holy Spirit but then, then he, will, he will let the Holy Spirit take control. Okay? So paano tayo magiging victorious Christian? Paano? Importante ito at ito yung gusto natin matutunan na ngayon as Christians. Now we will learn this these things para magiging victorious Christian life at magiging victorious Christian tayo. Sino sa inyo gusto talaga magiging victorious? Amen. Ang totoong Christian, he will desire to be victorious in his life. Amen. So the first is we need to surrender our sinful nature. Amen? Nakikita ni Lord, ikaw, kung tumitingin ka sa pornography, nakikita yun ni Lord. Nakikita ni Lord kung nagiging dishonest ka sa mga sinasabi mo, sa mga transaction mo, nakikita yan ni Lord. Nakikita ni Lord yung mga bad words mo, naririnig ni Lord yan. Yung mga bad thoughts mo, nakikita lahat yan ni Lord. Amen? Ito yung sabi sa Numbers 32 verse 23 sabi dito but if you do not if you do not do so then take note take note down mga Christian you have sinned against the Lord and be sure your sin will find you out no? sa mga Christian dyan if you consider yourself a Christian ang sabi dito okay, be sure your sin will find you out because kung totoo tayo Christian God will make a way, He will find a way na maka, magkakaroon ng solusyon yung mga ginagawa natin, mabago tayo. Amen? Say tayo, no question about that, but our sin will have consequences. No? May consequences yan. Kaya tayo mga anak ni Lord, we should be careful how we uh, obey or follow the Holy Spirit. A true Christian will not continue sinning. Okay? A true Christian will not continue sinning. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, you will not continue sinning. Okay? Or act like he has a license to sin. Na parang nakakamali, na parang wala lang. Di ba? Last time, yung, yung, yung lesson ni Torah, no? yung natural man, yun yun sila. Pag nakasala sila, parang wala lang. They are so comfortable with sin. Even, they're even proud. Diba? Magiging proud pa nga na that they are so good in sinning na hindi sila na na, na ano hindi sila na nakakats, no? Hindi sila nagibisto. Ganun ang mga natural man. But once we become a Christian, even a carnal Christian, meron na yung ano, guilt sa kanyang puso. Because nandyan na yung Holy Spirit sa kanya. So a true Christian will not continue sinning. Or act like he has a license to sin. Okay? Yes, we are still in the same body. May physical needs, may mga cravings, yung mga old habits natin, values, no, lumalabas pa minsan-minsan, no, lumalabas ang ating mga, mga carnal instincts, di ba? But we have the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will remind us every time we sin. Amen. A new nature in Christ, sabi ng 2 Corinthians 5.17. A carnal Christian is like a baby. No, nakikita pa kayo ng baby? Lahat tayo, cute na yung mga baby natin ngayon. Marami na sila, malalaki na. No? Uh, maganda rin yung nandyan sa uh, Facebook. Nakikita natin yung mga baby. Noong wala pang COVID, maliliit pa sila. Ngayon, malaki na. Amen. Yung carnal Christian, parang baby daw. No? He needs to grow. Hindi pa fully developed. But he will not remain carnal. He will not, he will not remain a baby. 
no? They will develop spiritual muscles and then they will walk in the Holy Spirit. This growing is called Christ-likeness or some, the process of sanctification. In Romans 7 verse 18, sabi dyan, And I know that nothing good lives in me. Sabi, sabi ito ni Paul. Okay, sabi ni Paul, I know that nothing good lives in me. That is in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. Ito yung sabi ni Paul na, I do what I do not want to do. Then what I do not want to do, I do. Di ba? Sinasabi ni Paul dito na meron talagang battle. A battle between our sinful nature and our spiritual nature. Okay? Sinful nature and spiritual nature. There's a battle between the two. At in our previous preaching, sabi natin, kung saan sa dalawa ang ating pakainin, no? pag yung spiritual nature ang ating pakainin, if we become strong, we will live our spiritual uh, as a spiritual person. But kung apakainin natin ang ating sinful nature, kaya nakakasala tayo. Sabi ng Colossians 3.5, sabi ni Paul dito, put to death. Okay? Sabihan mong katabi mo, patayin mo daw. No? Put to death the sinful earthly things lurking within you. Nandyan, sa loob mo, no? there is a sinful nature lurking. You have to put that to death. Have nothing to do with, ano raw? Sexual immorality. May Christian ka ba na kilala? Maybe disciple mo engaged in sexual immorality. You have to remind that person. Amen. Impurity, lust, evil desires. No? Okay, we have to put to death. No? We have to control yung ganyan na mga emotions. Don't be greedy. Sino sa inyo, pag gumutang, hindi magbaya, that's being greedy. You are stealing. Tama ba? For a greedy person is an idolater. Parang sinasabi nito that he, money, becomes an idol. Okay? Worshipping things of this world. Okay? Sino ba ang pakainin mo? Ang sinful nature mo ba? Or ang iyong spiritual nature? You have to make a decision kung sino ang pakainin mo. And we are reminded here by Paul na put to death, patayin natin ang ating sinful nature. At we will obey our spiritual nature. The Holy Spirit that is inside of us. Gusto ng Holy Spirit, siya magdadrive sa atin. No? Kasi kung tayo magdadrive, marami tayong magawang mali. Pag Holy Spirit ang inaalaw natin na magdrive sa ating mga buhay, then magiging ayos yung ating takbo. Hindi tayo nabubunggo, hindi tayo nagkakamali. No, pag hindi tayo marunong mag-drive, no, panggain mo yung mga signboard sa Notre Dame. Di ba? Ano ganyan? So, there is a battle. Hindi tayo maging victorious if we keep sinning willfully. Sabi ko dyan, willfully. No? If ang isang Christian will not sin willfully. No? Parang huwag natin sabihin, kaya sabi natin, yung pagiging, yung, yung tinuturo natin na uh, hyper grace is a false teaching because it allows a Christian to sin willfully. We cannot do that. No, it is a false doctrine. So maghina tayo mga kaibigan. Ang isang anak na mahal mo, but is always yung anak mo mahal mo pero gumagawa ng hindi tama. No, tumu eh, hindi tumutulong sa bahay, gumagawa ng problema sa school, no? Ah, uh, gumagawa ng problema sa mga uh, kapitbahay, uh, inaaway yung ibang mga bata, no? Siyempre, anak mo pa rin yun. Mahal mo pa rin. Pero ano ito? Hindi ka masaya sa anak mo. Amen? Yeah. Gusto mo siya magbago. No? Hindi mo gusto yung anak na hindi nag-uubay. Tayo mga anak ni Lord, ang gusto rin na, ni Lord sa atin na magiging mabuti, nag-uubay sa ating mga, sa kanya, sa ating mga parents. Are you letting sin dominate you? I want you to ask yourself that. No? Tanungin mo ang sarili mo, are you letting sin dominate you? Parang nag enjoy ka pa rin sa mga kasalanan na ginagawa mo. Are you like the unbeliever? Pag ganyan ka, hindi ka magiging victorious. Remi I, remi uh, I am reminding all of us na ang totoong Christian will not, not, go, uh, will not continue sinning. 
iiwasan na natin ang ating mga ginagawang mali. Amen. Point number two. To be victorious, to be a victorious Christian, know that your life is not your own anymore. Amen? Nag-surrender ka na talaga or nag-surrender ka pa talaga kay Lord? Alam mo nung nag-surrender ka, no, hindi na sa iyo ang buhay mo. No? Maka-imagine ka ba ng isang sundalo? May, may war, for example, may gyera. Then, nagiging prisoner yung sundalo. Diba? Nag-surrender na siya. Pero, gusto pa rin niya, siya pa rin ma, ano, prisoner siya. Sabihin niya, ako pa rin ang masunod. No? Gusto kong matulog. No? Ayaw kong lumakad yung ganun na ano, prisoner. Pwede ba yun? Alam mo ba na ikaw ay nag-surrender na kay Jesus? Ibig sabihin, you are no longer your own. Ang tanong, nag-surrender ka ba talaga? or parang ikaw pa rin ang in control sa buhay mo. This is the second point para magiging victorious Christian. Know that your life is no longer your own. Jeremiah 10.23 Sabi dyan, I know, Lord, that our lives are not our own. Okay? We are not able to plan our own course. Sabi ni Jeremiah. Okay? Alam mo ba, nung, nung gibaptize ka, can you remember that time? Maybe hindi mo na ma-remember yung date, pero ma-remember mo yung moment when you were baptized. Alam mo ba na baptism was a symbol of death? No? Okay? You died there when you were baptized, buried in the water. So ngayon, I want you to imagine yourself underwater. Tinitingnan mo yung mga tao around you. Nandiyon yung family mo, yung mga kaibigan mo. Dahil patay ka na. At that moment, you are dead from your sinful nature. Yun ang symbol ng baptism. And then, sabi ni Lord sa iyo, I will resurrect you, I will give you a new life. But from now on, sabi ni Jesus sa iyo, I am now your master. You are no longer your own. You remember that? You are no longer your own. When you were baptized, you are dead to sin. You are dead to your sinful nature. And now you have a new nature that is the spiritual nature. Nature na nag kay Jesus. Is that amen? No, sa Proverbs 16.9, sabi dyan, we can, we can make our plans. Pwede tayo gumawa ng ating mga plano. But the Lord, de- uh, the Lord determines our steps. Ganyan ang Christian. Di ba? Minsan gumagawa tayong plano. But minsan hindi nasusunod ang plano natin. Di ba? God allows mga trials, experiences para to grow us or to make us grow sa ating faith. Inaalaw yun ni Lord. Okay? Minsan, iba ang gusto mo. Noong araw, gusto ko mag-engineer. Hindi ako naging engineer. Nagiging accountant. Nang iba ang buhay ko. Nung nag-retire ako sa trabaho, I want to be a businessman. No? Pero, iba ang ginawa ni Lord. Nagbago ang buhay ko. No? Ngayon, nagiging pastor ako. Glory to God. Ibig sabihin, mas maganda ang plano ni Lord kaysa plano natin para sa ating sarili. Sa inyo, ano ang mga plano nyo? Paano ba ni bago ni Lord no, ang buhay mo? Dahil sa tao na nagiging asawa mo no, or sa, sa lalaking nagiging husband mo, nagbago ang buhay mo. Pag-apply mo ng trabaho, na nawalan ka ng trabaho, nag-terminate ka, binigyan ka ng bagong trabaho, nagbago ang buhay mo. Diba? There are things in life, mga trials. Minsan, sa umpisa, pangit, pa, ayaw natin, pero actually, at the end of the day, magiging blessings siya. Diba? God determines our steps. We are not in control. Minsan, tragedy. No? Dahil sa tragedy, nasaktan ka, pero ngayon, nagbago ang buhay mo. Amen? Sabi nga natin, everything work together for good to them that love the Lord. Para sa ating mga Christian, lahat na mangyari sa buhay natin will be down to our good because we love the Lord. And God has a better plan for us. Minsan masakit pero He is molding us to become the kind of person na gusto niya mangyari sa atin. Amen? This pandemic reminds us that we are not in control. Not government. Kahit ang USA, they are not in control. United Kingdom, ang mga Euro- European nations, ang France, 
Ang etali, mayayaman na bagsa. We're not in control. Ang dami nilang mga casualties. Not science. Up to now, wala pang, wala pang, ang tawag niyan, medisina or, uh, yun, medisina para sa coronavirus. But God is in control. Is that amen? And I, we believe as Christians that God allow these things to happen also for a purpose. Amen. For a purpose. And the third point para magiging victorious Christian is trust the Lord with all your heart. Sabi dyan, with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Okay? Marami siguro, marami sa atin memorize yan. Ipasize ko lang yung with all your heart. Okay? And not lean on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do and He will show you which path to take. To take. Okay? With all your heart. Minsan may mangyari sa atin na mahirap intindihin. Like death of a loved one. Lalo na ngayon. COVID-19. No? Sa ibang lugar, ang daming patay. Okay? The loss of jobs. Sa atin, kunti lang ang casualty pero maraming nawala ng trabaho. Okay? Nawala ng, lalo na yung mga daily workers, nawala ng ano, sweldo. No? Nahirapan, kailangan bigyan ng mga pagkain. No? Mahirap ang taong nagutom. Di ba? Okay? Tayo ngayon, nakakulong. First time natin ito, tayong lahat, sabay-sabay, nakakulong. Di ba? Sa bahay. Okay? But yet, sabi ng Lord, we have to trust the Lord. Is that even? With all our hearts, kahit mahirap itindihin. Okay? Sabi nga sa Divo ko this morning or today, sabi ni Paul, we are, we have this treasure in jars of clay. Okay? Merong treasure, merong Holy Spirit inside our bodies na tinatawag dito na jars. Mga clay lang tayo. Okay? We are weak, but we have this treasure inside of us. No? What is that treasure for? To show the world what that we have the power of God inside us. Amen? Sabi na, hard press. No? Hard press. Ang daming problema. No? Para kang piniga. Hard press, but not crush. Okay, tayo mga Christian, maraming problema. Pag-anak ka ni Lord, maraming tayong problema, pero hindi tayo maka-crush. No? The, the, the problem will not overwhelm us. Okay? Perplex. Mahirap intindihin. Pero hindi tayo mga in despair. Di ba? Kahit wala pa tayong husband, matagal na, hindi tayo in despair. Happy pa rin tayo. Okay? I persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Amen? Amen. We, have, we have found this one preaching ng title nila is Coronavirus, the best of times, the worst of times. Yeah. Grabe no? Ang ganda pakinggan ng pagka-title. The best of times daw, and the worst of times. Meron bang good sa pandemic na to? No? Tingnan natin. Kung meron ba talagang good, do you agree with that title na the best of times, the worst of times? But as a Christian, no, we keep trusting the Lord that despite this pandemic, we trust the Lord and we keep our faith. Okay, sabi dyan sa verse 6, sabi sa verse 6 kanina, He will show you which path to take. No, Ipakita ni Lord kung saan tayo papunta, kung saan tayo dapat. Okay? He will make us see. Okay? Uh, gusto ni Lord in this pandemic, gusto ni Lord, makikita natin, He want us to realize or learn something from this crisis. No? Itong crisis, inalaw ni Lord, meron talaga siyang purpose. At gusto niya na tayo ng mga anak niya, mga Christian, makikita natin, marirealize natin kung ano ang gusto ni Lord na matutunan natin. Okay? Like sa panahon ng persecution sa Book of Acts, okay, it became a path for the church to turn the world upside down. Di ba? Yung persecution that they were suffering in the Book of Acts, nagiging paraan, daan, para magkaroon ng they turn the world upside down. Okay? Ano kaya? No? What is the best of times in this coronavirus? What spiritual good do you think will come out from this pandemic? Okay? Maybe today, do you agree that more Christians are getting closer to God? Yeah. Di ba? Makita natin yan sa mga posts sa social media. Many Christians are taking themselves, their relationship with God. 
and many of us become more closer, um, become closer to God. Amen. Or another one, another benefit is that we are more united as a family. No? As Christians, nagiging united kasi wala kayong mapuntahan. You are forced to settle grievances in the family. Praying together. Learning to trust God more. Okay? Because today, na-realize natin that life is ano, so fragile. No? Merong mangyari. We are not in control. Life is fragile. Imagine ngayon ang daming namamatay. Lalo na yung mga senior citizen. No? Maraming namamatay. So, give me my reminder, the Lord, that we are not in control. That man has no solution to everything. Amen? But God is in control. Will this crisis, ito yung tanong, will this crisis makes, make us a better Christian? Amen? Will the, is this crisis ngayon mag, magiging mas, mag, uh, mas okay ka ba na Christian ngayon dahil nangyari ito? Is that amen? Kaya the best of times, the worst of times, this is the worst of times, but something good diba, can come out of this crisis. Ganyan, ganyan ang mga Christian, everything will work out for good to them that love the Lord. Is that amen? amen? And the fourth point and the last is that abide in Jesus and bear fruit. No, pag nagtatrust tayo ka Lord, it also means that we abide na tayo. But we are not only abiding, we are also bearing fruit. When we abide in Jesus, talagang magkaroon ng fruit ang mga buhay natin. Amen. Wala tayong ma-accomplish o wala tayong fruit apart from God. Kung palutuloy tayong carnal, disobedient, living in sin, walang fruit yan at hindi yan totoong Christian. Dahil ang totoong Christian, carnal for a time, but he will grow to become a spiritual person because he has the Holy Spirit. That, amen. John 15.4, sabi dyan, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Abide means connected, di ba? Connected to Jesus. At kung connected ka, my fruit. Amen? So, Pag nag-abide, it does not mean na nakaupo ka lang, kumakanta, nag-abide until you die. Di ba? Sabi dyan sa verse 5, you can do, na, sabi dyan, I am the vine, you are the branches, he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Sabi dyan, you can do. Ibig sabihin, meron kang gagawin. Di ba? You can do. Ano ba ang gusto mong gawin? No, may gagawin ka at may resulta at magkaroon ka ng fruit dahil may gagawin ka. At sabi ni Paul, ah, sabi ni John, abiding is loving. No? Sabi John, ah, John 15, 12 to 13, sabi John, this is my commandment, love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. No, paano lang ang pag-a-abide? Sabi ni John, abiding is loving. Okay? Abiding is loving. Sabi niya, lay down one's life for one's friend. Okay? Hindi man tayo kailangan, hindi man tayo mamatay, no? We don't need to die for a friend, for someone. Pero ang ibig sabihin dito is loving a fellow, a Christian, or even the lost, love people. Okay? We can practice this by giving kanang sacrificial love no sa LG, sa family, sa opisina, okay, listening to people, tumutulong, encouraging sa mga nag-encourage sa may mga problema. Okay, ganyan ang abiding in love, loving other people. Yan ang ibig sabihin ni John dito. No laying down one's life doesn't mean na mamatay tayo, but it means that we are ano learning how to Sacrifice, no? Yung may mga problema, magpautang kung kailangan ng, ano, kailangan magpautang. Okay? Ganyan tayo, mga anak ni Lord. No? Nakikinig, nagbibigay ng tamang advice. We are not taking advantage of each other. Amen? Ganyan ang love na tinuturo sa atin ni Lord. 
But we also know that some people that we love will be difficult. Di ba? Maraming tao na mahirap din ibigin. Pero ang turo sa atin is to love them anyway. Sino ba ang mga mahirap na tao sa buhay mo? No? Or ikaw yung mahirap na tao sa buhay? Yeah? Okay? The, the difficult people in your life are especially the people. Talagang hindi yan aksidente. Binigay na ni Lord. Okay? Kasi meron din tinuturo si Lord sa iyo. Amen? To expose the things that we need to change. Is that amen? Sino ba ang mga tao ang ginagamit ni Lord para sa iyo? At ikaw din ginagamit ka rin para sa iba. No? To love each other because we are a family. Okay? So yun yun. Apat. Maybe there are others. But these are four things that I want you to focus on. To have a victorious Christian life. Number one, do not, do not be, wala, iwanan na natin yung uh, committing sin. Okay? Do not, do not uh, allow sin in your life anymore. Secondly, uh, trust the Lord. Uh, secondly, know that your life is not no longer your own. No? Si Lord na ang may-ari sa buhay mo. Pangatlo, trust the Lord. And number four, abide in the Lord and also bear fruit. Kasi ang gusto talaga ni Lord is that we will bear fruit. Amen. And in closing, this benefits. No? Ito yung bakit importante ito. Ito ang mga benefits na matanggap natin pag nagiging victorious ang ating mga buhay. Number one, you will have a rich and satisfying life. And this is a rich, no? magandang buhay forever, eternally. At memorize mo yung verse dito, John 10.10. 10. Okay? Okay? My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Yun talaga ang purpose ni Jesus from the very beginning. Kaya gisay tayo, hindi lang tayo nagkaroon ng salvation. Pero ang gusto rin ni Lord, magkaroon tayo ng rich, satisfying life. No? Kasi nag-obey tayo sa Holy Spirit. Is that amen? No? Wala, wala, pa ta, wala pa tayong makikita na isang tao na mamatay at sasabihin niya, pwede na akong mamatay, happy na ako kasi marami akong pera at marami akong properties. Pero maka yung ma-remember na ganyan. Anak, I'm so happy to die today kasi marami akong pera at marami akong mga properties. Ayaw niya mamatay. Pag marami siyang pera, ayaw niya marami siyang properties, di ba? Hindi siya happy na mamatay. Okay? Pero, wala, walang taong ganyan na masaya, no? Mamatay dahil marami siyang pera. But, sabi ni Lord, magiging happy tayo in this life when we have Jesus in our life, di ba? Uh, having more things is not our purpose to accumulate wealth is not our purpose but to walk with God only he only Jesus can give us a rich and satisfying life amen and second another benefit is answered prayers okay John 15:7 siguro memorize nun na rin yan okay if you remain in me my words remain in you you will ask anything you want Okay, sabi ni Jesus yan. And it will be granted. Amen. Tingnan mo ang buhay mo. Tingnan mo ang mga answered prayers mo. Kung hindi mo nakikita, baka hindi ka marunong magbilang. Meron kang kata, count your blessing. Di ba? And the fact that you are still here, that you are still worshiping God, no? that is an answer to a prayer. Amen? You are an answered prayer. God is answering our prayers. Amen. And He is doing it to us because we are so special to Him. Amen. Count your blessings. And the last is benefit is that a life that brings glory to God. Gusto mo ba yun? Meron kang buhay na masaya si Lord sa buhay mo? That's a benefit of living a Christian life. Sabi dito sa verse 8, When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. Totoo ka. Pag meron kang fruit, sabi ni Jesus, si Jesus mismo ang nagsasabi. Okay? So, hindi maling false teaching yung magsabi na hindi na kailangan ang discipleship. In fact, in this verse alone, when we produce much fruit, no, sabi ni Jesus, you are my true disciples. 
Hyper grace again is a false teaching. I am uh, balik balik na ako na because I know there are some of us no na na deceived dito. So remind yourself, a true disciple will bear fruit. Amen. Yeah. The, kasi ito, this brings great malaki. No, magiging happy ang ating si Lord, no, pag ginagawa natin ito. This brings great. Hindi lang maliit na glory, but great glory to my Father. Amen? We will bring glory to God, okay? When we produce fruit, a true believer will desire to make God happy. Is that amen? No? When we work for the Lord, hindi yan to save us, kasi save na tayo. Amen? We are already justified. Okay? Wala na yung penalty of sin. We are already saved. But because we are saved, ang gusto ni Lord, maging happy siya pag obedient tayo. Saved by grace. Okay? We want to make God happy because we are His children. At dahil anak tayo, we want to honor God. And we are so thankful sa ginawa niya para sa sa atin. Amen? So winning souls and making disciples brings great glory to God. God will be happy. And we want to make Him happy with us. Amen? Tulad ng mga parents natin, pag obedient tayo, mababae tayo, they are happy with us. No? Kung magaling tayo sa school, pag nag-graduate tayo, nagtatrabaho, di ba? Di ba? They are happy with us. They are proud of us. Ganyan din si Lord. Hindi siya magiging proud, pag proud sa atin kung sabihin natin, Save na ko, gawin ko na ang gusto ko, no? That's a false teaching, my friend. In conclusion, no? Do you want to have a victorious Christian life? May I ask everyone in your homes to stand? Oh, I want you to meditate upon this truth. Sino sa inyo gusto magkaroon ng uh, victorious Christian life? Christian life na nakaka-bless, no? Christian life na na ano? na sabi dito, rich and satisfying Christian life na makikita mo that God is you can see answers to prayers bakit mo nakikita yung answers to prayers? kasi yung mga prayers mo nag-align na kaya, sa gusto ni Lord kaya masaya ka, nakikita mo yung mga answered prayers kasi yung mga desires mo nag-align ka kay Lord at binibigay ni Lord yun kasi yun din ang gusto niya that amen at another is that a life that brings glory to God So as you stand, you will make a decision today. Na starting today, you you start to be more careful how you live to have a victorious Christian life. Amen. Do not do not continue to your sin. Do not continue to feed. No, wag mo pakeinin yung ating sinful nature. Nanjan pa yan yung ating sinful nature. Pero wag natin pakeinin. Ang pakeinin natin ang ating bagong nature, ang ating spiritual nature. No, ibig sabihin, repent and start obeying the Holy Spirit in your life. Secondly, remember that your life is no longer your own. No, surrender ka na kay Lord. Huwag nang ikaw. Hindi na yung gusto mo ang dapat mong sundin. Dapat ang sundin natin ang guidance na ng Holy Spirit. His Lordship. He is Lord. He is Master. Are you willing to do that? That you surrender your life to Jesus. And the third is to trust God. Kahit minsan, hindi mo maintindihan. Kahit minsan, mahirap. No? There are things that God allows to happen. Pero continue to trust God. No? He is a good God. He has a good plan for your life. And number four, abide in Jesus. Because when you abide in Jesus, magbe-bear fruit ka, mamumunga ka, may mangyayari sa buhay mo. Amen. Today, as you stand there, I want you to pray. Commit to commit. Bow your heads. Commit your life, no, to have a Christ surrendered life, no, in your choices, in making decisions, in your actions, sa yung finances, sa yung relationship. Are you willing to surrender that to Jesus? Amen. To have a victorious Christian life, surrender everything to, to Jesus. A victorious Christian life is only possible when we surrender to Christ's Lordship, surrender to the Holy Spirit. This kind of light brings great glory to God. Can we pray? Oh Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you, God, that indeed, even in this time of, in this month, Lord, where we remember 
your sacrifice at the cross. You died for our sins, but also, Lord, to give us a victorious Christian life. And so today, Lord, even in this time of crisis, in this pandemic, God, this is the time also, Lord, you allow to happen because you have a purpose. And today, oh God, your children are being reminded that we have to review how we walk, Lord, how we walk this life, that we will start living, Lord, a victorious Christian life that is obedient to your word, no longer sinning willfully, and knowing, acknowledging that our life is not our own, trusting you, whatever the condition we are going through, and also, Lord, to bear fruit because we abide in you. You are with us and we are being obedient to you. You are our Father and we are we are your children. Ang gusto namin, Lord, we want to make you happy by our obedience. We want to worship you, Lord, and obey you for the rest of our life. Thank you, God. Bless every family, Lord, today as they are standing, God. Lord, I pray for them that you will unite every family. And right now, as we continue to pray, kung meron dyan, sa kasama nyo sa bahay, na, na one who would like to surrender their life to Jesus, I want them to raise their hands and pray this prayer with me. No, yung mga hindi pa sigurado na meron kayong totoong relationship kay Jesus. No, Jesus died to save us, first of all, to justify our sins. Pero hindi yan mangyayari kung hindi natin tanggapin yung ginawa ni Jesus sa cross para sa sa atin. Amen? So if you are not sure that you are saved, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Lord God, follow, follow, follow me with this prayer. Lord God, I accept that I am a sinner at kailangan ko po na isang Savior. Hindi ko kaya baguhin ang aking sarili at tinatanggap ko nagkakasala ko sa isip sa gawa at sa salita at naintindihan ko na Jesus Christ came He died on the cross to pay for my sins and so today Lord I confess I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And I repent of all my sins. I will be obedient, Lord. Lord, you, I will be changing my mind. I will be repenting of my sins. And I will confess my sins before you. And I will put my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Lapakan natin si Lord. God bless you. See you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Uh, welcome again next time we gather together as a family, as a spiritual family. Spiritual family. God bless you. Come on, let's sing this song. We dedicate our lives before the Lord. Let's honor Him through this song. In Christ alone will I glory Though I could pride myself in battles won For I've been blessed beyond measure and by His strength alone I'm overcome and Oh, I can stop and count successes Like diamonds in my hands But those trophies could not equal To the grace by which I stand In Christ alone So, so.
Yeah. 
Children.